What comes to mind when you think of the giant aquatic beasts of the prehistoric era? Many would quickly shout, Mosasaur, thanks to their popularization in cinema. But what if I told you there's another, even more gargantuan creature that once dominated the seas, yet it stays largely under the radar in the pop culture paleontology scene? Imagine a creature so massive and formidable that it makes the notorious ocean predators of blockbuster movies look like mere sideshow attractions. This enigmatic titan of the ancient waters might not have a franchise named after it or star in nightmarish sea tales, yet its recent discovery and identity are as awe-striking as any cinematic giant. In today's dive into the depths of prehistoric times, we're not just unearthing a forgotten monster, but we're revitalizing a legend. So buckle up as we unravel the mystery of a true leviathan that ruled the oceans long before the famous Mosasaurus made its mark on history. Nestled in the Westbury Mudstone Formation in Northern England, paleontologists found two serangular bones from the jaw of an animal in 2016. The bones measured 96 centimeters, or just over three feet long, suggesting an animal of sizable proportions. Further studies hinted at the animal being a Shastasaurid, a family of organisms that represents giant ichthyosaurs, this particular one from the late Triassic period. Another fragment was discovered a few years later, in 2020, by an 11-year-old girl who was fossil hunting with her dad. This helped paint a more complete picture of the animal, showing that the entire lower jaw would have measured approximately 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet in length while this is already an impressive set of jaws. Histological studies of the samples suggest that the bones were still growing and the two meter gnashers belonged to a juvenile or sub-adult. Because the sample was found near the River Severn and it belonged to a giant ichthyosaur, the single species Ichthyotitan severnensis was created, the Titan of the Severn. To better understand Ichthyotitan severnensis, imagine a creature with the ferocity and aquatic agility of an orca. The size and mass, just shy of a blue whale, combined with a crocodile's menacing jaws and razor-sharp teeth. Its body was streamlined for efficient navigation through water, with powerful paddle-like limbs that suggest it could cruise the ancient oceans with both grace and speed. Ichthyotitan's bones were built to support a massive, muscular body, much like the gentle, plankton-sifting giants of our current oceans. Yet unlike whale sharks, the teeth and jaw structure of Ichthyotitan suggest it was anything but a gentle giant, more akin to an apex predator capable of taking down hefty prey. Anatomically, the Ichthyotitan boasted a skull that resembles modern-day aquatic predators, but on a much grander scale. Its jaws were robust and capable of delivering bone-crushing bites. The similarity in skull structure and teeth arrangement draws a parallel with creatures like the sperm whale, known for their deep-sea hunting capabilities. Interestingly, it appears that ichthyotitan and modern-day cetaceans might share convergent evolutionary traits, adaptations that signify optimal designs for aquatic predation. The discovery of ichthyotitan severnensis not only expanded our understanding of marine reptile diversity, but also highlighted the evolutionary craftsmanship that nature has finessed over millions of years. These ancient titans of the sea while distinct, share numerous attributes with creatures from both their time and ours. If you're enjoying learning about Ichthyotitan and the incredible marine life it competed with, please consider giving this video a like. Your support helps us continue exploring fascinating prehistoric worlds. And if you want to dive even deeper into the wonders of ancient life, hit that subscribe button and continue to join us for more exciting content on the mysteries of the past. Now, venturing into the ancient oceans, Imagine the scene 200 million years ago beneath sea levels of the late Triassic period. You are plunged under the surface into the deep blue of this prehistoric ocean where nightmares await. With nothing above, below, or around you, you look around frantically as you sense something approaching. Out of the darkness approaches a 17-meter shadow, the largest Mosasaur specimen ever discovered. While you might feel like a tiny speck compared to this famous giant made popular in Jurassic World, its size was no match for Ichthyotitan. Formal estimates that compare the discovered jawbones to that of Bassanosaurus, another ichthyosaur, place the Ichthyotitan at a staggering 25 meters 
or 82 feet, rivaling the modern blue whale in size. Informal estimates from bones that are only speculated to be from ichthyotitan stretch the estimate even longer at 35 meters of 115 feet. This feature alone set ichthyotitan apart from most known marine reptiles, including the ferocious Mosasaurus, which was previously thought to hold the title for the largest marine reptile with lengths just over half of our giant. So what did this Leviathan eat? Given its size and anatomy, Ichthyotitan severnensis was undeniably a predatory force. It primarily feasted on fish and likely any animal it could overpower. This has been taken as evidence for the richness of marine food webs throughout the Triassic, believed to be built upon newly evolved forms of plankton and would show that Shastasaurids were flourishing until their disappearance in the end Triassic extinction. Their ecology made their remains vulnerable to scavengers, with one of the fossils showing signs of scavenging before burial, explaining the scarcity of known fossils. Equipped with strong, sharp teeth and a jaw designed to exert considerable biting power, it fits the profile of a formidable predator. What's notable is that while direct evidence from fossil records about its feeding strategies is scarce, it's pretty clear that having such dominant features Ichthyotitan would have used ambush tactics, propelled by a quick burst of speed, to capture prey. Older studies have suggested that Shastasaurids were suction feeders, but current research indicates that the jaws of Shastasaurid ichthyosaurs do not fit the suction feeding profile. This is because their short and narrow hyoid bones are unsuitable to withstand impact forces for such kind of feeding, and some species like Shonosaurus a similar ichthyosaur to our giant, had robust sectorial teeth with gut contents of mollusk shells and vertebrates. The mechanics of how this giant consumed its food draw intriguing parallels to modern-day marine predators. Like the orca or great white shark, ichthyotitan would employ its acute sense of sight, sensing disturbances in water to home in on potential meals. One could therefore visualize ichthyotitan lunging toward its meal, jaws agape, snapping up the unfortunate victim in a show of prehistoric marine power. Swimming, on the other hand, was an elegant exercise for this creature. For a beast of its magnitude, efficiency and movement was essential, and its limb structure was a key player here. Although details about the precise limb adaptations are limited due to incomplete fossils, evidence suggests a shift toward more streamlined, fin-like limbs, typical of advanced ichthyosaurs. These adaptations would facilitate powerful, sweeping motions, transforming colossal power into graceful, high-velocity thrusts, likely making Ichthyotitan severnensis one of the fastest giants in its watery realm. So how did Ichthyotitan severnensis compete with other wave-dwelling titans? Given its staggering size, this ichthyosaur could dominate smaller predators just by being the heavyweight in the scene. With fewer large competitors, thanks to its intimidating size, Ichthyotitan could easily monopolize the best hunting grounds. But size isn't everything, right? For Ichthyotitan, it possibly played a crucial role in a rather straightforward interaction with other marine species. By having such a massive body, it could pursue a wide variety of prey, from fishes swirling in schools to more sizable marine reptiles that dared to share its realm. This versatility in diet likely reduced direct food competition, allowing it to coexist with other predators without much drama. One of Ichthyotitan's closest competitors was Shonosaurus, another massive ichthyosaur that could grow up to 15 meters long. While slightly smaller, Shonosaurus shared a similar predatory lifestyle. Both were apex predators, capable of hunting fast-moving fish, squid, and even smaller marine reptiles. However, differences in skull morphology suggest that they likely hunted different prey, reducing direct competition. Shaunosaurus had a long, narrow snout adapted for snagging soft-bodied prey like cephalopods, while Ichthyotitan had a more robust skull and powerful jaws. This suggests Ichthyotitan might have hunted larger prey, perhaps even rival ichthyosaurs, or scavenged the remains of dead marine giants that littered the ancient ocean floor. These ecological differences likely allowed both to coexist in the same waters, but the competition for resources was fierce. As seas became more crowded with life, both predators would have had to patrol vast territories to find enough food to sustain their massive bodies. 
The most formidable challenge to Ichthyo Titan's dominance came not from another Ichthyosaur, but from the rise of large Pliosaurs, which evolved later in the Mesozoic. Though Ichthyo Titan predates them, the evolutionary arms race between large Ichthyosaurs and Pliosaurs was beginning to take shape. By the time Pliosaurs arrived, Ichthyosaurs were already feeling the pressure from new and more aggressive marine reptiles, leading to eventual changes in Ichthyosaur evolution. The marine ecosystem was a constant battleground, where food was abundant, but competition was relentless. These ancient seas were dynamic, filled with creatures striving to carve out their niche in an ever-changing environment. One of these marvelous adaptations was that Ichthyo Titan is theorized, like other ichthyosaurs, to be giving birth to live young. This live birth method was quite the evolutionary ticket for thriving in the oceanic expanses, sidestepping the risks of laying eggs in unpredictable marine environments. Plus, considering their size at birth, these youngsters weren't just born, they splashed onto the marine scene ready to tackle the oceanic challenges. Now, the downfall of these majestic creatures aligns tragically with the end of the Triassic period around 202 million years ago, a tumultuous time marked by massive volcanic eruptions and possibly lethal asteroid impacts. These environmental catastrophes sparked widespread extinction events, which reshuffled the ecological deck. For Ichthyo Titan, these changes were too drastic to adapt to. Altered marine habitats and food sources, coupled with increasing competition from emerging species, likely sealed their fate. Moreover, the massive volcanic activities would have pumped lethal levels of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, leading to severe climate changes and ocean acidification. Such hostile conditions could incapacitate the marine food web, starting from plankton up to apex predators like Ichthyo Titan. Once the primary food sources declined or shifted in distribution due to altered temperatures and sea levels, even giants like Ichthyo Titan found the buffet running short. To dive deep into the ancient oceans and come face to face with creatures like Ichthyo Titan, it really puts the wonders of evolutionary history into perspective. So, if you enjoyed plunging into the past with us and want to keep riding this prehistoric wave, go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe for more deep dives into Earth's incredible history. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.